Hello and welcome to the webinar. My name is David Nicoletti and I'm Marketing Manager for Industrial Controls. Uh, we've been providing training classes in our 18 physical locations for the past 30 years and now since our customers are so widely distributed we've extended the program to the internet and today's webinar is on using Bolimo actuators to retrofit existing valves and dampers. We're going to hear from two experts today and after they finish we're going to take some time to answer your questions. Uh, during the presentation feel free feel free to enter your questions into the interface on the right hand side of your screen. Um, at the end we'll, we'll possibly open it up for voice questions depending on how much time we have left. Um, Wesley Fagan is a salesman at Industrial Controls in the New York City office. He's worked with com commercial controls for 17 years as, and is an instructor for Local 638. Rob Siegel has been conducting training classes for Bolimo for six years. He has over 30 years experience troubleshooting and providing solutions for commercial applications. So at this time, I'm going to pass the presentation to Rob. Hello, welcome everyone. Um, we have a half an hour to go through quite a bit of uh, material, so I'm going to move it pretty quick, but I'd like to just go an intro. Uh, what we're going to cover is basic retrofits, and uh, what do you need to know um, to provide a, a retrofit for your applications, you know, dampers, valves. Um, we're going to go over different types of control signals. Uh, we're going to touch on a little wiring, some Lima wiring, some tricks. Um, Retrofit catalog, you'll, you'll see, is going to be the main focus, and, and uh, I believe everyone's going to probably get a copy of this who signed up, and uh, we're going to go over uh, a damper motor cross reference, uh, we're going to go through a glow valve cross and butterfly valves, and at the end we'll just uh, show you some custom retrofits that Blima will do, and we'll get started. Um, obviously these are the websites industrialcontrolsonline.com and bolimo.com you can use for reference. Uh, if you go into industrial controls, uh, I believe you can link right into Bolimo from their site. So we're going to go quickly over to uh, norm nomenclature for Bolimo, some part numbers. And there's uh, a lot of people out there who may think um, that the first, or I mean the second item is a spring return motor, uh, being it's SR, but in reality it's the LF24 MFT, and I'm just going to touch on some nomenclature now. Okay. Uh, Bolimo is a Swiss company. The Americas uh, is located in Danbury, Connecticut, and the name was thought from a German, Baraten, Lefiren, and Montering mean consult, deliver, and mounting. And you ask why? Not a big deal, but what I'm trying to emphasize is that a lot of Swiss German is in our uh, nomenclature statements. So. On all actuators, the second letter of the actuator with the designation of F is uh, the term for Swiss German of feeder or spring. And an SR, which everybody would assume is spring return, and uh, a lot of competitors use SR as a spring return designation, the Germans uh, have it as they pick regular or modulating. So that would be a modulating motor. So those, those two things are pretty important when, you, when you're going up and maybe trying to replace a Blimo that one may think it's spring return, which it could be, but it also could mean it's modulating. In the, in the beginning chapters of uh, PGPL, um, you'll see that we have all the different torque ratings. So the first letter designates the torque of the motor, second is uh, the designation of spring return or non-spring return, and then we some have some options that you'll see fast running and no feedback, and then obviously we need to know, you know the power supply in which you need to drive the motor. The fifth, des or the fifth designation is basically what kind of control we use, and we'll cover that in a little while. And obviously, uh, I'll just rip through these, and then at the end, some have a dash S, which means uh, a built-in auxiliary switch. Typically, this is at the first page of every uh, section of our PGPL. Right now, this is our, our line of spring return motors. We have the TF our little tiny TF 18 inch pounds, the LF, uh, NF, and AF, and then we have a full line of fire and smoke which I will uh, just touch on later on because this is a very um, um, important and uh, a lot of people are interested now in how do, how do they repair their old uh, fire and smoke dampers. Beginning 2010 we're introducing uh, replacements for the AF and the NF. 
And the NF line is now available through Belimo. And uh, where the AF used to be, I mean the NF used to be 60 inch pounds. You can see the NFB now is 90 inch pounds. And there's a lot more bells and whistles, which I, I will not go through. But this one uh, major uh, advancement is this can be overrided with the manual crank for people who have been familiar with the AF. We also, as you can see, the AF series is going to be um, basically coming in through throughout 2010. Right now, we have, we have basically the AF X uh, series with MFT, which if no one knows, I'll explain about MFT later on. So this is the, the AF is available, and it's 180 inch pounds. Being that we raised the torques on these two actuators, you may be able to um, take care of some dual applications and just use one motor instead of two. So November, we, we started the NFB. Um, 90 inch pounds, manual override, and uh, we're going to come out with NEMA 4 models, and you can order either or. Um, the indicator, as you can see on this valve application, is a, a lot larger, so it's easy to see. And the, um, the basically, when you wind the uh, spring up, you can actually put it on hold with a little switch now instead of clicking the arm back. It's kind of hard to do um, over air until I could actually show the crank arm. And then in January, obviously, we just kicked off the AF. So all the older models are available. Um, the only other thing is uh, if you have a dual application with old AFs, you cannot interchange them. So you'll have to, you'll have to change both motors. Or maybe you won't have to. Um, just a note that you may want to put down for, for guys who used AFs and dual applications. OK, so here's the same. Uh, nomenclature page for non-spring return. You can see we have a whole full line of these. And uh, again, it's, it's the uh, designation of the um, torque rating. And then M is for motor, which probably makes the most sense. H is for uh, our linear application. And then we have a, a, a 180 degree rotational. So then we have also quick running, fast running, and basic or customized Customize is just if you want a special cord length or a, a change speed on a one-time application. Again, we have requirements for what power you're using. Um, there'll be a lot of motors right now that you'll be able to plug in from 120 to 240, um, and it'll, they'll operate. And actually, uh, on the AF side, we'll have a UP, which is that spring return I was talking about. That'll have um, a UP would be universal power source, so you, it'll be a two-position motor that you can replace from 24 volt to 240. It won't matter. You just plug in the voltage, and it will recognize it, which is pretty cool. That's probably available out in the summer. OK, and here you have the control signals again, which we'll go over. And on the other end, we have terminal blocks for VAV type. This is mostly like OEM operations, or you can uh, have a cable or, or, again, a dash S for a switch. This is our full line of non-spring return. We have a little CM, which is introduced for uh, residential, and we're doing some retrofits with them now. Our VAV motor, the LM, and then we have the NM through GM. These were all updated uh, about two years ago. This is this new product. We updated all their torques, and we also introduced the linear line and then the rotationary line. Coming in this year, in this year's catalog, we're going to have housings, outdoor housings for the non-spring return motors. You can order them with heaters or without. 4x enclosures, and then towards the middle of the year, we'll also have enclosures for spring return with the option of heaters.